Hello students, in this video, I will explain the fund flow statement long problems. Uh, I will cover three long problems and I will explain how to solve the long problems. And I have already made two videos. Uh, in the video one, I have explained statement showing changes in working capital with solved problems. Besides, in the video number two, I have explained how to calculate funds from operations or funds lost in operations. So these two videos link I will share in the i button as well as in the description box. Please do watch those videos before watching this video to understand better the concept and crux of the fund flow statement. So let's start this video wherein I will cover the long question. This is the format of statement of sources and application of funds. So sources in the sense how the company is getting the money, what are the forms, how the company is procuring the finance money and application here refers to how this uh, money which is uh, generated by the company from the various sources of finance is applied, where it will be applied, how it will be used by the company. This statement is like a balance sheet wherein we will get in, provide the information of source as well as application. When you see the source, issue of share capital, we will get the money when we issue the shares, issue the debentures, we will get the money in the sense, we in the sense company. Long term loans raised, sale of investment, sale of fixed asset, receipt of partly paid shares collected, called up and collected and most important funds from operation will be written as a source and non-trading income and most important decrease in working capital. So by preparing statement showing changes in working capital, we will get either decrease in working capital or increase in working capital. So decrease in working capital is considered as a source. Funds from operation is considered as source. Whereas when you come to the application, redemption of preference shares, redemption of debentures, redemption of equity shares, Payment of long term loans, purchase of fixed asset, purchase of long term investments. Then most important funds lost in operation is the application as well as increase in working capital is also application. Right. Then payment of tax, payment of dividend, non trading expenses. So in this way we will prepare sources of application statement. So we will take up the long questions and we will proceed further. So if you see the question here, we have provided the comparative balance sheet 31st March 2016 and 17. We have liabilities, shareholders fund, share capital, resource and surplus, trade payable. This is the liability part. Whereas in assets, we have fixed assets, current assets under that inventory, trade receivable, cash and cash equivalents. We have no adjustments, right? So we are asked to prepare statement showing changes in working capital and calculation of funds from operation then finally sources and application statement so we will start the problem so again i kept the question here so simultaneously we will draw three formats that is statement showing changes in working capital ad adjusted profit and loss account then statement of sources and application of funds that is fund flow statement so we will come from the liability side of the balance sheet when you see the liabilities first one is share capital share capital in the year 2016 was 25,000 as well as 2017 even 25,000 most important we require comparative information comparative balance sheet for the preparation of fund flow statement. So the share capital neither increase nor decrease. So therefore, we should not consider this item when there is no change in the share capital. So leave it. Come to the reserves and surplus. Reserves and surplus last year we had 2300, now it is 1000. Reserves and surplus is considered as a profit. So it should be taken in profit and loss account, adjusted profit and loss account. So profit and loss account is a liability, shows which balance, credit balance. Therefore, we write by balance brought down. 2300 this is our opening profit and loss account then next to balance carried down 1000 as closing profit and loss account so we write opening balance as well as closing balance of profit in profit and loss adjustment account then trade payable trade payable is the current liability so we write under the head current liability trade payables last year 4500 this year 7000 
so how much increase that is 2500 when current liability increases working capital decreases how to prepare this statement showing changes in working capital already a separate video that is fund flow statement one has been made i will share the link in i button as well as description box please do watch that video first then when you come to the assets fix asset fix asset we had 6600 last year now it is 10000 how much increase that incremental change is considered as purchase of fix asset where it will be written when we purchase we lose the money therefore it is application of funds that is 3400 will be written as purchase of fix asset then come to the current assets inventories current asset last year 9000 this year 8000 decrease in inventories decrease in current asset will lead to decrease in working capital then trade receivables increase in trade receivables increase in working capital that is current asset increases working capital will also increase then cash and cash equivalents 4700 3000 decrease in the sense decrease in working capital so in this way we have to cover current assets even so once it is done everything is done then close the uh, current asset in the sense make the summation of these current assets of 2016 as well as 17 that is refers to a total current assets represented as a then make the summation of liabilities since we have only one item same amount this is called as total current liability represented as b then working capital we can calculate that is net working capital we can say a minus b that is 25200 minus 4500 we get 20700 in the same way 23000 minus 7000 will get 16000 so when compared to last year our working capital was last year 20700 this year is 16000 only so what is happening actually the working capital is decreasing how much it is decreasing 4700 so this is refers to as a decrease in working capital and decrease will be written in increase column then you can make everything tally in the sense why we have written 4700 in the 2017 column if i write 4700 there this amount will be tallied with 20700 decrease will be written in the increase column so that the net effect in working capital increase and decrease even will get tally so whatever net net increase net decrease in working capital we got 4700 this will be written as a source that is 4700 is net in, net decrease in working capital is a source then we will close the adjusted profit and loss account when we close the adjusted profit and loss account we are getting the balancing figure on the debit side that is 1300 this balancing figure we, is called as funds lost in operation so this funds lost in operation is always a application so we write on the application side 1300 funds lost in operation then we will close the funds flow statement that is sources and application we will get the both the amounts get tallied that is source and application in this way you have to prepare this is a very simple question i hope you understood i'll take up another one and two more questions with a little bit increased items see the second question even is simple the same way so i will directly take the solution how to solve the problem same way i have prepared all the three statements that is statement showing changes in working capital pnl adjustment account and uh, statement of sources and application same way same procedure will follow please do follow the procedure simultaneously we have to prepare three and try to do the problem it will be easy for you to reproduce in the examination it is not a difficult one so share capital 125 to 150 1 lakh 25 thousand to 150 so how much increase that is 25 thousand that is considered as issue of shares source 25 thousand reserves and surplus again buy balance brought down to balance carried down that is opening and closing balance 60,000, 75,000. Trade payable current liability will be written 70 and 1 lakh. So current liability is increasing, working capital will decrease 30,000. Then fixed assets. Fixed assets are 20,000, 30,000. So fixed assets are increasing. So purchase of fixed asset 10,000. Then non current investment 15,000 and 10,000. So decreasing in the sense we, we presume we assume it as a sale of investment. 
sale of investment 5000 is a source then current assets we have inventories then trade receivables cash and cash equivalents right then make the summation and the summation is called as total current assets and make the summation of liabilities that is total current liabilities then a minus b will be the net working capital 150000 and 185000 how we got these values 120 minus 70 185 minus 1 lakh so what is happening when compared to last year our working capital is increasing by 35000 this is called as net increase in working capital and it will be recorded on the decrease column so that we can make all the four columns tally so in this way you have to prepare the statement showing changes in working capital then whatever answer you got that is net increase in working capital is application of funds it will be written in application net increase in working capital then close the funds flow statement that is sorry pnl adjust, pnl adjustment account or adjusted pnl account then you will get the balancing figure on the credit side 15000 that is called as by funds from operation that is balancing figure funds from operation will be written as a source funds from operation 15000 finally the statement of sources and application will tally with 45000 so this way we can prepare the funds flow statement problem right so this question was quite similar to the earlier question i hope you understood these two questions i'll take a little bit uh, lengthy question now so if you see this question we have notes to accounts bear in mind notes to accounts is always part of balance sheet notes to accounts will further elaborate what are the content what are the items there in the uh, particular head if you see share capital note number one is provided in note number one if you see we have two types of share one is equity and preference the reserves and surplus when you go to the note number two reserves and surplus we find general reserve and pnl account then so on the information further classification further elaborated information will be available in the notes to account therefore notes to accounts is always what part of balance sheet not adjustment adjustment is a different item so we will proceed with this long question please do uh, understand this question this is very very important question Basic, basically try to remember that in all the three questions we don't have any adjustment adjustment related problems video i will make video number four there i will explain how to solve the problems with various types of adjustments clear so let's start this problem again i have taken the question the same way i have prepared all the three statements that is a statement showing changes in working capital adjusted profit and loss account and statement of sources and application of funds so when you come to the question share capital share capital note number one last year equity share capital was 40 this year also 40 come to the note number one please concentrate on note number one seven percent readymade preferences we did not have anything last year and this year is 10,000 so increase in preferences so it will be written as source right issue of shares preferences that is 10,000 increasing then results and surplus most important this item is very important please concentrate here results and surplus when you come to the note number two you find two items one is general reserve another one is PNL account so we take this PNL account in the adjusted profit and loss account, but results and surplus we had 2000 and 2000 no change. If the results and surplus under that general reserve increases, that should be written in the PNL adjustment account or adjusted PNL account to transfer to general reserve. Clear? So we don't consider since general reserve no change. PNL account by balance brought down and to balance carried on profit and loss adjusted account we have written. Then 10% debentures we had 6000 and 7000 so increase in debenture in the sense issue of debenture is a source 10% debenture that is 1000 then short term borrowings short term borrowings is a current liability so we will write in the current liability short term borrowings 12500 6800 decrease that is increase in working capital we have to write current liability then trade payables trade payables we had 12000 and 11000 so decrease in trade payables 1000 then next short term provisions short term provisions we have note number three so whenever you are reading the balance sheet whenever you get note come to the notes to accounts 
short of provisions we have two types of provision that is provision for tax and proposed dividend please bear in mind these two items specific items provision for tax and proposed dividend these items will be considered as a current liability when you don't find any adjustment please bear in mind since in this question we don't have any adjustment these two items we consider as current liability if there is any adjustment related to these two items we will consider it separately not in statement showing changes in working capital as current liability clear so a provision for tax we have considered as current liability proposed dividend we have considered as current liability clear next assets under that fixed asset fixed asset there is a note original cost is 4140 so 41000 we had and 40000 how much decrease is taking place that is 1000 so this 1000 we considered as a sale of fixed asset as a source 1000 will be written on the source side sale of fixed asset then accumulated depreciation last year we had 11 now it is 15 how much increase that is 4000 this 4000 is considered as two depreciation in adjusted pnl account in the sense this year we charge depreciation amounted to rupees 4000 non cash expenditure then come to the current assets under that inventories so current assets will take statement show, statement showing changes in working capital inventories 30,000, 35,000 increase, that is increase in working capital, 5,000. Trade receivables we have taken, then cash and cash equivalents we have taken. Clear? So once we have done this, then what is left over? We need to close these accounts. In the sense, we need to pre first close the statement, of, st statement showing changes in working capital. How to close this? Make the summation represented as total assets, total current assets as A, Total current liabilities B, net working capital A minus B 19,000 and 35,200, 51,500 total of current assets minus total of current liabilities 32,500 will get 19,000. In the same way 63,000 minus 27,800 we will get 35,200. So like this we got the working capital. So if you see the net working capital when compared to last year it is increasing how much 16200 so we write increase in working capital 16200 so then increase we will write in the decrease column so all the four columns will be tallied so this net increase in working capital will be written as a application increase in working capital 16200 clear now we will close the adjusted profit and loss account when you close the adjusted profit and loss account we are getting balancing figure on the credit side that is funds from operations credit side funds from operation if you get balance if we are on the debit side that is funds lost in operation clear so once we get this funds from operation on the credit side this will be written in the, as a source funds from operation 4200 so we have closed statement showing changes in working capital adjusted profit and loss account finally we are in statement of sources and application now we have written everything now this should tally so fortunately we could tally with 16200 so this is the precise way of preparation of funds flow statement. I hope I made you understand. So please do subscribe my channel. Do watch my videos. Right. So you can pay amount also or you can contribute your amount precious amount also for the development of this YouTube channel. Right. So I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe my channel. Mentor the trusted guide. Thank you very much.